Welcome back everyone, I'm D Depressed Dior, and this is Cthulhu Saves- or sorry, Cthulhu's Angels. So... Wow, those st stats are insane. Do, 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 do. Magic, agility... Wow, she's even faster than- just as fast as uh, Umi is. Neat. Alright, let's get going. So we gotta go to the Necromancer Village again go through the same factory we went through before. Oh, with this group instead. Don't think any of these people have anything to say. Well, I'll talk to them anyway. Yeah, it's all the same stuff. Hey, chest. Just a one-up. There's a spare room upstairs just for outsiders like you. Sure, we'll save. Alright, looks like we... Or do we have to go upstairs? I apparently do not. Does that mean I can just go straight to the right? Alright, everyone's will goes up 10 points because of the smelly fish. I don't think there's any... No, there's no hidden rooms. Alright, we can just go straight here. Heck, the music of this place is very similar to uh, Final Fantasy VI. But I won't tell. It's about the end of my gods. Alright, well now I have October hit tax three times as an AoE, so I'm just gonna do that. And just attack there, attack there, attack there. <laughs> I do 1600 damage. October is so awesome. That's necromancer powers for you. All you need is a whip. does it all herself. Hey, a chest. One gold. Awesome. And all that just to go around a uh, conveyor belt I refuse to step on. Actually, we are overleveled for this. Uh, you're generally supposed to pick up Sarah after you've beaten the game, just like you're supposed to pick up Dim after you beat the game. So, I'm kind of ahead of the levels here, but quite frankly, I just wanted to use a uh, Sarah, so. Okay, got that. It's more money that we'll never use. I mean, we're almost to a million gold at this point. Strong enough to kill them. Should be a chest over here. Four potions. Maybe someday I'll actually cast spells. Also, I think we weren't, weren't supposed to be going to that uh, that final cave either. So. We did a lot of stuff out of order, but it's okay. Don't need that conveyor belt. Oh well. So it's very much like what we did uh, when I got picked up Dim. We kind of just tanked everything. <laughs> 
But in this case, we don't even really need to tank anything. We kill everything in one shot. I guess that means girls are better than boys in this case. As long as October doesn't die. But even if October is taken down, I can just use spells from there. Alright, we took a... Kind of a scene... We, we went the right direction. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just turn off the conveyor belt. Since we're here. Sarah can actually do well in melee as well. She doesn't have any physical attacks though. But she has a regular physical attack that hits twice and does about 800 damage. So, can't really complain there. Oh, these things are actually somewhat stronger. Here, we'll blood wave them. Problem solved. Brain Basher. I believe that's a weapon for Elena. Yep, pretty good too. We've gotten just about everything. Twenty-three battles left. I may not bother fighting every enemy in this one simply because it's not necessary. Like I said, if I'm already ahead of the curve. Now, hopefully, kind of balance things out a little bit. It, it definitely won't. I mean, once you get level forty, you're pretty much unstoppable force unless you just have a really poor party set up. Giant whip, which I already have. I have a, like a collection of these giant whips. I think uh, I have like two or th I have like three of them now. That's okay. I do hope they come out with an, uh, the people that made this game make another game. I mean, they've made uh, the, third, the third episode, or third chapter of the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, but I uh, kind of want more than that. Hmm, these things are actually somewhat strong. Here, we'll do Sub-Zero. You can just attack, and you can do Blood Wave. Hey, they've survived. Good for them. Of course, Sub-Zero costs 40 MP, which is ridiculous, but when you have 1,000 MP, it's not that big of a deal. I think I need to go that way. Yep, three one-ups. We really don't need to loot these chests, but there's always that slim chance that there might be an item I can use. It's pretty neat how, uh, how things turned out with October becoming a um, physical attacker. I've never done it before, so it's kind of neat how it turns out. Blood Wave is actually a rather cheap spell. It only cost even when it initially starts out costing seven, and then when you upgrade it, it goes up to eight. So it's not even that big of an increase to increase its damage. So it's a it's a rather good trade off. Hello, we got ourselves the Horror Rider. And we'll do it anyway. Ultra Smash! Not quite enough. It 
Yay, we leveled stats. 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 And Sarah will level up uh, next battle or so. Very much like Dem, since she starts at level 40, she doesn't learn any new moves. Hmm. Let's just attack. And Blood Wave. Is there a level stats? Alright, there should be a... Com we're actually heading toward the stairs. Usually I don't like ending up where I need to be, but in this case it actually allows me to use the uh, switch so I can go through the- don't have to deal with the conveyor belt. Tell you what, just uh... Holy attack. Thank you. That's a little bit faster. Now with the backtrack and pick up all the chest. With 14 battles left. This robe. That's actually probably useful. How do you equip? Oh yeah, that's right, use the magic ring. Elder robe, cultist robe. So you don't get the plus magic, but you get higher um, vitality. Go ahead and take it. It's not like we use magic on uh, Elena any, any, anyway. Alright. Let's uh, make sure we didn't miss any other chest while we're at it. Pretty sure we're good to go. You know what, just nuking them would probably go a little bit faster. Eleven battles left. You know what? Holy... Blood wave. Yeah, this is a big circle we're going in. Big circle. That's okay. We'll make uh, we'll make do. Nine battles left. Is there anything? Oh, that's right. This was just backtracking here. Holy costs 30 MP, by the way, so it's rather expensive as well. Well, that's okay. Okay, so we just need to head to the stairs now. of you guys. Same deal. Seven battles left. And we missed a chest, so might as well go get it. 
Looks like I'm gonna get all the battles done anyway, so... No big deal. Just means we're extra ready for the final boss. Like I said, I've never used Sarah, so we're kind of already ahead in the power curve. Not to say that Molly's bad. I mean, she's actually rather useful, especially when she starts learning things like lunge. Pretty routine, as always. I mean, it wasn't much different in the original game. We... Do I really want to take that conveyor belt? Yes, I did. Bromide of Sarah. Awesome. So, see? The game was already predicting that you were going to get Sarah. Unfortunately, it was not predicting the fact that you would, you know, be ultra awesome at this point, but that's okay. Oh, we have battles. Three left. Alright. Nothing down here. Too easy. Granted, if I played on insane difficulty, it'll probably be a bit harder. And you again, alright. Could do Berserk, but that doesn't matter. Sub Zero. Ultra Smash. Dark Strike. Ooh, Dark Strike was not a good idea. Turbo leveled stats, LNL leveled stats, Umi leveled stats, Molly leveled stats. So it looks like we got all the chests in one pass, so I'm not going to bother uh, searching for them. And we already did all the battles. How convenient. Because we're now at the end. Or you get to fight whatever's down here. Mother knows best. You have found Mother Hydra. Ah, Mother Hydra, the source of all your mama so fat, fat jokes. Your wicked ups, uh, obesity ends here. Mother Hydra. Mama knows best. Okie dokie, so let's do this. Dark Whip. You don't have anything to use. So you can just do Snowstorm. You! Start things off with Magic Him on Sarah. You can go ahead and do Unholy Power. Yeah, Snowstorm doesn't do much. We're all poisoned! Oh no! Berserk! She does no heal as well, so it's not that bad. Um, she doesn't have any Unite abilities, unfortunately. Yeah. That's okay. Just 
stick with Snowstorm just for more combo. As for you... Uh, we did get something called Summon Specialization, which increased the damage of all your summons. Uh, which Elena only has Mawfish. But, uh, yeah, it's just something kind of neat. We'll counteract your poison with Kirija and all. And you can go ahead and do Insane... Well, actually, you can do Curse. There we go, you're cursed. That's a lot more damage. Generates, and nearly 10,000 damage. Now we're getting hit with Dark Water. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Snowstorm. We can pretty much end this battle here, so let's go ahead and do that. 21,000 damage with Death Blow. Dead. Yay, we win! And October leveled stats. Sarah leveled stats. Elena leveled stats. Yumi leveled stats. Molly leveled stats. You have defeated Mother Hydra. True hero, here I come. But Cthulhu is still not a true hero. What? You promised. Tough beans. I really don't think it's a good idea for Cthulhu to become a true hero. I thought this might happen. Molly, initiate plan B. Aye aye. Molly pulls out her cell phone and pushes a few buttons, causing a portal to appear. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Everybody, in the portal. Where are we? This is the Grand Library, the home dimension of one annoying narrator. For too long have I been to, it, to his every whim. Now it's time to take the fight to him. It's time to overthrow. Go, the narrator. Fool, don't you realize I have all the power? With just a single sentence, I could kill you all. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. Activate Generic Narrator Override. Generic uh, Narrator Override activated. What just happened? This hologra holographic device has a secondary feature that's Generic over uh, Narrator Override. This will protect us from the whims of the, the regular narrator by replacing him with a generic narrator. It's only temporary though, so we, we need to find and defeat the narrator quickly. Listen up, angels. This is your final mission. Destroy the narrator. You can do it. I believe in you. We won't let you down. And guess what? We are in the Grand Library. So, let's go ahead and save. And we're going after the narrator, so yeah, the narrator kind of acted like as a uh, extra character in the story, and this one, we get to actually fight him. So, I'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and call this a video. I am Theta Press Dior, and this was Cthulhu's Angels. Stay tuned for the finale. See you guys.